Okay guys, um, welcome to the um, sort of new chapter over the uh, next few months. Um, apologies for my camera, it's uh, not uh, feeling its best, but we I have got it to focus. Okay, so I'll keep that out so it'll focus. Okay, so, from the important notice, which I do hope you have read, um, so I'll explain um, the nature of these next videos coming up. But um, the one we're going to kick it off with, like I said, is F1 2011. It's, of course, for the PC. Um, I won't have it any other way. Um, it's for Games for Windows Live. And that's um, Microsoft's own online server. Um, it's Peggy 3 by Codemasters. And on the back, <coughs> um, it's pretty much got an outline of what the uh, game is about. Pretty much like a blurb on a book. But um, instead it tells you the uh, different features, or rather the biggest one, the official Formula 1 game. Um, also we have here the oops, 24 car online grid, 2 player split screen and co-op championship. And a review from the Sunday Mirror, the best racing sim in the business. Hmm. Um, I don't endorse any of this, they haven't asked me to do this, I am doing it purely. Um, because I like the game. But uh, if you want any more information, um, visit them two websites, formula1-game.com, or go to their Facebook page. But um, down here it uh, tells you all the um, other information which you uh, may need to know. Okay, so open the box, standard. Got the disc there, which I'll be putting in the slot later, and the manual, so I'm just going to look at the manual instead. I don't think you find this very exciting. Okay, so the manual. We've got the uh, health and safety warnings and what is the PEGI system? That um, That is rated for all games such as um, Call of Duty, um, first person shooter games, simulations, like this is. And now, anyway, on the contents, we've got pretty much what the contents does. Um, welcome to F1, starting out information about the online features, the on-track game screen, controls, game modes, everything like that. And at the bottom of here we have Welcome to F1. Um, it just gives you a bit of um, background. But um, anyway, starting out we have installation, running the game, troubleshooting, auto-save features, menu navigation including the keyboard, or the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Hmm. Golden questions. Apologies. Um, my head was a bit itchy. Um, okay, this one. Um, this is where you, um, if you're going to career mode, this is where you will create your um, career. How you start off. The driving assist tells you everything you can have on or off. It's your choice. Okay, games Windows Live. Um, information about what it is, um, how to connect to it, and the family settings. The Android game screen, this is all. This is what you're going to see in the game if you have it on expert, which um, I'll be honest, I don't because I'm quite bad at it at the minute. Well, I say quite, very bad. Um, it tells you all the information about what each bit is, where it appears, and what it means. Okay, controls. So we've got the Xbox 360 control for Windows, um, which can plug in via USB, I imagine. Um, got pretty much same as the on on um, on track game screen, all the uh, information about what it does. Um, so, hang on, um, where are we? Ah, yeah. Also tells you about racing wheels. There. Can you just focus on that, please, camera? There we go. Um, tells you about all the um, types of racing wheels which um, it supports, which I have a Thrustmaster, um, a Ferrari themed one for some reason. But um, for anybody, anybody who doesn't have this or the steering wheel, you have the keyboard controls. Like left, right, spacebar, control, the function keys, any other letter keys, and then custom. This is where you can change. Um, your controls to uh, your liking. Then you, we have uh, oops, 
we, ha we have replays and flashbacks. You can view replays. Um, if you want to have a look at um, a certain crash or at the end of a race, you can watch yourself um, beating everybody or losing. <laughs> um, depends how good you are. Um, and then you have flashbacks. If you make a mistake on track, you can use the flashback system to correct it. Okay. You can order an instant replay um, from the pause menu. Okay, so here we go. Game mode. We have Korea, which is um, in. Um, for ooh, apologies, just hit the camera. Um, for games such as um, first-person shooters, it will be called campaign. Um, Others, it will be called story mode. But on this one, it's called Korea. You also have Grand Prix, where you choose the tracks. You choose the tracks, conditions, whatever. Proving grounds. You have time trial, which is um, where you can you just go around any track, not racing against anybody unless you choose. Um, any track you want within the F1 2011 season. Um, we also have time attack, where you have to uh, go around in a certain time. And then multiplayer. There are three options. You have online, split screen, or LAN. It stands for local area network. As you can see there. Um, that means you can play with your friends if you don't want to play online with uh, complete strangers. You can just um, order your own match with your friends. You can have a quick match, which is um, pretty much just a quick race. Um, just a race to get used to it or to have a look at the game. They may have had that in their demo um, quite a few months ago. But um, tells you each one, pole position. Tells you each feature feature you can have in quick match, you can have pole position, sprint, endurance or online Grand Prix. You can also have a custom Grand Prix and co-op championship. Co-op championship is an all new mode for this one, it wasn't available in its um, predecessor. And um, you can compete in a championship as teammates. So uh, two racers, um, the software licensing agreement and warranty and any customer support or queries you may have. Um, again, you'll uh, need this uh, code, which I'm going to cover up for uh, well purposes, which don't really want to get into. But um, live access code is the one you have to use to activate the game. Um, if you want any more information, go to Facebook, Twitter, or the website at the top. And there we have some sponsors and uh, some of the um, engines that run the game. Okay, so you've had a look at the game case. We're now going to uh, get rid of uh, the camera um, this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to go onto there. That's right. We're going onto the computer screen. We're going to boot up F1 2011.